Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Friday drives here at Lobeck Luxury Cars. Now, you would have remembered a few weeks ago we did a little muscle car theme, and I'm really pleased that Shrek has finally let me drive this 2011 replica AC Cobra. about the styling on the exterior now. You've got that iconic Shelby AC Cobra feel on the front. You've got the, the chrome bars over here and then these big rounded headlights that just give it a bit of a mean look and that big open sort of oval area at the front where the radiator sits. It's just so iconic. It's such a beautiful piece of machinery. As we walk up, we've got this beautiful Bentley black diamond paint with the silver racing stripes and then the vented hood here. And in a minute, we're gonna open this up and show you what's inside, which is really, really cool. And as we come all the way over, you've got these big exhaust pipes, one either side to vent all that sound all the way out. And it, when you start this thing, it just sounds so amazing. I love it. As you can see here, there's these three pointed spokes here. Almost do some damage with these, I reckon. Uh, they're really, really cool. I love it. And then the, the Cobra on the, on the front there too. As we work our way back, you've got the big chrome sort of roll hoops here to keep the driver nice and protected. And as we come around to the rear, Something that's really iconic, and not every AC Cobra ever had these, but it was the, the dual roll bars at the back here with the chrome all the way through. Now, some of them never had the duo, they just had one. And this, this is like a really iconic piece that, that does the designer and, and then the maker of this car really wanted to have on. We've opened up the front of this thing to see this five liter V8 Ford racing engine. Now, the sound of it, which you can hear in a minute is, unbelievable but you can see how well put together this thing is now it is a replica but it's a beautifully made replica no detail has been spared here you can see the all the wiring all the clamps everything just the way it's fitted together you can tell by the look of it that it's well well looked after but also extraordinarily well built at the time as well towards the water here. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Melbourne, so I thought we'd come down here and we'll take this thing for a drive, shall we? And as I accelerate, listen to the noise. Oh. There's nothing better than that V8 engine. Now, a lot of people aren't a fan of them anymore, but there really is nothing better at the sound this thing produces. Now, it is a replica, of course, but in some ways I think that's better because I feel like if we had an original one of these, you'd almost be too scared to drive it. Well, these things are built to be driven, to have that authentic feel with what you're trying to achieve with it. And I really get that from this car. It's, it's clunky, it's, it's heavy with the steering wheel. You've got this big sort of wooden, wooden wheel here. It's not modern, it's still old school, but it's just refined. And you can really feel that particularly with the handling, with the different shocks and springs that the car has, and the coils, but also in the acceleration. As I put my foot down, it's, it's crisp, it's, it's there when I want it. But also with the gearbox, as I'm trying to change gear up and down, it actually feels super, super sharp. It's nice and crisp as I punch into the gears. And that's, that's what I want out of, out of something that is a replica. I want to have that authentic feel. We're just cruising here. I feel like I need a fat arm up on the side here and really make the most of what this car can, can give me. This car and this series of cars were built by a guy called Warwick Harrison and he's famed for his 
replica builds of these machines. And you know, to be honest with you, there's no better man for the job. I mean, they've done such a, a brilliant job on these on this car and just the general feel of it. It's just so impressive. And even the niceties on the on the leather and, and the dials there, they're, they're current enough, but also old school. Feel the heavy steering as I'm trying to turn the car. You kind of need the car to be moving a little bit before you can start to really ramp in the steering, which is exactly like the old ones, which is, is pretty, pretty awesome. And even here, like there's a little bit of give in the wheel, but it adds a bit of character to the whole thing, and I, and I really like that. in this thing all day. Oh, up on the side, V8 engine in my ears, and the noise is coming right next to me too, which makes it all the more enjoyable. One thing I'm loving about this is actually, I was sitting in third gear, fourth gear there, and it actually wants to be higher in the rev range, which I love because it, it gives you more noise, gives you better feel on the accelerator pedal. And then as you're driving, it gives you a little bit extra. So when I want to put the foot down, you can hear the noise. And as I come off the throttle, you can really feel the car slowing down, which is pretty awesome. Oh, that noise is amazing. That's going to wrap up another episode of our Friday drive. I've had an absolute ball driving this thing and particularly on a day like today by the water, I couldn't think of anything better. I had so much fun and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Instagram and follow for more Love Electric Cars Friday drives.